Okay, so this video is about how to use the playlist. This is probably the most important thing, second most, probably third most, I don't really know in ranking order, I'm not really that interested. But um, this is what the playlist is, and um, the way I think of it is like a timeline really. It's like a timeline of your song. So each one of these numbers represents um, a bar. And um, depending on how big or small your tempo is, depends how long each bar is going to take. So far, so good. So basically, this controls majority of what's going on. So you can put samples, automation clips. I don't worry, I'll explain to you what those are. Samples are basically anything from drums to any kind of sound, really, that is external or you know so you're bringing in like a drum or a voice that's a that's a sample and then automation clips which i will go into um they are basically like robots doing work for you don't that's how i would explain it um it it basically automates certain features as um as the song is going on so if you want to turn the volume up on something is as the song progresses you can do that and you'll have a little graph and I'll explain it all later but yeah so that's basically what the the playlist is um some cool little features that you might like to know about um there is the snap to grid feature which I spoke about a little bit earlier but it's okay it's good um you can snap to any of these lovely different things and um, you can snap to bar, which is this one. I usually use that just because it's easier. Um, and it means any of these tracks you can you can put stuff in. If you really want to, you can rename them, which is I'm I'm quite bad with it. Um, I need to. Oh no, that's not what I meant. No. Okay. So this is what I meant. So you know, let's pretend I made a kick there. You can you can do that by re renaming in color. Um, and then so you click the rename if you want to change the color it says select color when you go over in that little square and you can make it this color or, or that color or this color or any of the colors really um, so yeah and it makes it all green but I, I, there's no really I mean you can make it look pretty all day but uh, you know, it's up to you if you want to do that you can do that um, I'm just here to give you the information that's all really. Um, there's this new feature called performance settings with um, FL Studio, the one I've got, the latest beta. Um, and basically, I need to do a separate video about that because it's quite, you know, unless you've got a launch pad, it, you, you don't really need to know that. But yeah, so this is just some of the features. So you could explain all of that. You can put an icon on it. Which is cute, you know. I like image line making it look beautiful for us, and we can we can play and make it look fancy. So you can do that. That's cool. I don't really know what I've done a guitar sign, but I don't really care. You know, it's my it's my project after all. Um, but yeah. So and then you have got some different tools up here. So playback. So you can stop things being played. I never use that. Zoom, which you can zoom into stuff, and you can zoom in. To the very little bit of um, the actual wave itself, if you want to, you know, a lot of people can do. You can do that. I don't mind. Um, and then you got the slice tool, which is quite useful if you're lazy and you don't want to resample something. Because if you make a sample and it's like tiny bit too big, and you're like, I really can't bother to put it back in Edison, you can just chop it off and delete it with this nice tool. Um, and look at the hotkeys. Remember the hotkeys because if the more you produce you're going to be working faster and you want to get your ideas onto paper as quickly as possible um, slip I don't really use that but I think that's just for moving side to side the brush tool paint tool so if you have like a kick and you want like oh, I want to make a million kicks and just keep them going them forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever you can do that with that which is cool that's quite good um, and then the draw which is just one at a time and, and draw and draw so yeah, so that's just some of the basic features with that. Um, that that that's pretty much it. Time markers. Oh, this is one little good thing. The last little thing I'm going to talk about is markers. I'm not going to. I'm just going to call it hello. So that's a marker, and that's good for us because when you start when you render it, there's going to be a line where the marker is on the song. And you'll be able to see it in Edison, which is cute because it puts a marker in the song, but it doesn't actually make a sound. It's like invisible, but it's not. I don't even know about it, so it's good. And then 
basically all the stuff's going on over here and you could just do that and this other little cheeky thing that you'll need to know is place song loop okay and that basically means that it's going to repeat from that point so if you want to repeat from that point you can repeat from that point by doing that basically um yeah i think that concludes this video so if you have any questions or you're not sure about something or you think i'm crazy just leave a comment below and it's, it's all good thank you for watching